people may wonder what happens to a tank if it accidentally gets contaminated by a compressor that's gone bad or somehow you get some pollutants in here. Well, we're gonna show you right now the proper steps and how you can go ahead and sanitize the tank and get it back together so you're not breathing contamination. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the valve. So now that you've got the tank valve removed, now we're gonna add the concentration. What it is, is it's about a tablespoon of simple green. And put that in, which is about a capful. So take your simple green, pour it down into the tank. You're gonna add three quarters to a gallon of water to the tank as well. So I'm gonna pour this in here. What we're doing right now is we're preparing the tank to go on a tumbler and it's gonna tumble for about 30 minutes um, with the cleaning solution inside and some little glass beads to help get rid of the contamination smell of the tank. Or if you have a steel tank, this will help get rid of the pits and the rust that may be building up inside your tank. So that you could use this for a couple different reasons. Now that we've got the solution in and the water, we're gonna add these glass beads here. You can see these are just little tiny beads. There's about a cup, cup and a half of those right now. I'll take this funnel, put it on top of the tank, and then I'll dump beads inside the tank. Just like so. And now the tank is ready to go on the tumbler. Now that we've got the tank filled with the solution and the glass beads, We've got it sitting on the tumbler here and we're ready to tumble this thing for about 30 minutes. Once that's done, we'll show you what you do next after that. Okay, now that I've hit my 30 minutes, go ahead and turn the tank tumbler off. To make it easier to carry, I'm gonna screw in the valve again. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way, it's just basically giving me an easier way to carry this to go outside the building. So now that I've got the tank outside, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the solution and the glass balls into this container I've got set up right here. out of there for a second. That's just basically to catch the glass beads so they don't go all over the parking lot. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I got this contraption here that basically sprays out the inside of the tank. So this is the next step. That basically is just gonna jet water all in there. I'm gonna let that rinse for about 10 minutes, then I'm gonna come back out and dry the tank. All right, now that we're done making an ice rink, we're gonna go ahead and let the extra water drain out of the tank, and I'm gonna dry it, and then the, the operation is complete this out. Got an air nozzle here. It'll stick inside the tank like so. Now I'm going to turn some compressed air on to dry it. So I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes here. And then I'm also gonna let it dry overnight. Then we'll do a visual inspection. And if everything's good after that, you can put it back together. When it's complete, you're ready for use again. If you need your tank reserviced in this manner, go ahead and bring it down to Central Oregon Diving. And they'll hook you right up, 
get you all taken care of there at Full Service Shop here in Bend, Oregon. Thanks again for checking out my videos. We'll see you on the next one.